Hello ladies and gentlemen of YouTube. This is Fortnite Fails JJ coming back to you with another video. And this one's from The Guardian. Prison guard arrested for having sex with inmates in front of 11 others. Some of you might have heard of this already. The, the one that did this, the one that's being charged, his name is Tina Gonzalez. Tina Gonzalez, 26, quit after being arrested in May last year when the bosses found out about the depraved sexual fantasy she carried out in Fresno County Jail in California. Despite it being illegal for prison staff to have sexual relationships with the inmates, Gonzalez cut her uniform so she could have sex with the prisoner while 11 others watched according to the report by Metro. She has since shown no remorse and has sexually has had sexually explicit phone calls with the prisoner regularly. Her former boss assistant, Sheriff Steve McComas, told the court Tuesday he had seen pretty disgusting things in his 26 years of working in prison, but Gonzalez's actions topped his list. Steve added that Gonzalez, who had worked as a correctional officer, for more than three years has also been boasting about her crimes since committing them. He said, that is something only a, depra a depraved mind can come up with. She took an oath which she betrayed and in doing so endangered her co-workers lives. Gonzalez also supplied the inmate with razors, a cell phone, and she would regularly warm, warn him when his cell was going to be searched. She pleaded guilty to sexual activity by a detention facility employee with a consist consenting inmate, as well as possessing drugs or alcohol and a cell phone to give to it. The judge did not give her the maximum sentence for this crime, three years and eight months, saying he took note of her early plea and lack of previous criminal record. Instead, Gonzalez will spend seven months behind bars and two years on probation. Speaking directly to her, Judge Michael said, I think what you have done is terrible, stupid, and you have ruined your career. But I also believe that people can redeem themselves, and you have the rest of your life to do that. Good luck. Eh, I don't think so. She, she's not about to redeem herself here. Yeah. She, she's celebrating what she did. She's actually on social media. Giving her cash app. Straight up, straight up. And I was looking through some of this stuff. It turns out this girl has a kid. And this is the foolishness she was doing. And I was looking at her story. Um, let, let me see. Let me look at that story again. Where she, it was where she was advertising her, uh, what you call it. Her cash app or Patreon, whatever. Here we go. Adopt the jail bill for those of you in my DMs. Hit my cash app. <laughs> Commissionary forty to two hundred dollars, clothes twenty to sixty, phone twenty to a hundred, lawyers fees a hundred to four hundred, and she's just expecting people to give this stuff out. The funniest and the funniest sad thing is is that more than likely she's got a bunch of people willing to do that. <laughs> her thing is hustle hard, so yeah, she's really hustling the people. That's the um that's the name of her this her this account of hers, man. Okay, yeah, I got another story for you guys. Nebraska mom sentenced for sexually assaulting children during sleepovers. Ah, a Nebraska mother who was sentenced to 64 to 100 years in prison Monday for sexually assaulting two of her young daughter's friends during sleepovers at her home a report said oh man you know people want to talk about how oh that uh the girls aren't getting the same amount of time as the guys and this is not fair it's a double standard not this time <laughs> she's got life in prison so unless this uh, she's got a, a successful appeal ah man this girl is going to be older than dirt and that's assuming she survives the sentencing of Christina Greer, 38, comes after she was found guilty in March of three counts of sexual assault for abusing two boys ages 12 to 13 in 2018. In 2018, the Omaha World Herald reported, 
Greer gave the miners alcohol and marijuana infused gummies bears during the weekend sleepovers in 2017 and 2018 prosecutors have said so they also need to add some drug charges to her this is some Cardi B type stuff right here or uh, oh boy and she sexually assaulted them too so this is really set I'm um, Cardi B yeah yeah I'll, I'll drug them get a couple of trannies well this is much worse cuz dead I mean these are kids here you don't, you don't even have to worry about her getting on the registry. This girl's going to be dead before she gets out. She also told them to delete any evidence from their phones and not to tell anybody about their sexual encounters, according to the prosecutors. Investigators have found sexually explicit photos of Greer from one boy's phone, the court documents show. Well, you know, this is sad. The girl is getting certainly what she deserves. Um, I wonder if these kids are going to need any therapy. You know, there is a video here. I might, I, I might put this on my Instagram. I don't think I can play this on my PlayStation stuff because they don't let you record nothing unless it's gameplay. You're going to see that this is the PlayStation because I'm going to be beefing up my editing again. Or do some PlayStation-like editing. Well, anyway, this is it. Please like, comment, share, subscribe. I'd like to hear your thoughts on this. And that'll be all.